What's cracking you guys? My name is Terry Davis and this is Vantage Point. Today we're going to review the 2017 Audi Q5 Quadro. So for the Audi Q5, there are three available engines for this trim. We have the 2.0 turbo, which making 220 horsepower with 258 foot-pounds of torque. Then we have the 3.0 liter supercharged V6, which is making 272 horsepower and 292 foot-pounds of torque. Then you have the top of the line 3.0 T trim, which is making 354 horsepower and 348 foot-pounds of torque. For this trim model, the highway fuel economy will get you 20 city, 27 highway. So the Q5 has good cargo space. The exterior curves looks good front to back. It also has 19 inch alloy wheels. The interior looks nice, but it's a little outdated. You have the nice GPS, where I can say that it's better than my Q50 GPS because all the animation and everything is really nice and up to date. I also like the Audi's key fob. Does it look familiar? If it does, yes. That key fob is the same key fob that's on a Lamborghini. So what's nice about this key fob is that you don't really have to put it in your pocket and just to put your foot on the brake and then start the vehicle. No, you can actually take that key fob, you can inject it into this dashboard here, put your foot on the brake, inject it, push it in, and then the car will start. Now, if you wanna take the key out, all you have to do is push it in and then take the key fob out, and that's it. What's nice about the Audi Q5? It has a panoramic sunroof that gently goes back and let the sun shine into the vehicle. That is nice. So for your entertainment console, you have the menu, the t navigation, the telephone, radio, media, car, and back, and this knob, which basically controls the navigation, which is a nice thing. The thing I don't like is the volume control. The volume control is good. It's a little silver knob. You can turn it up and you turn it down, which is nice, but also you can use it to turn to a station on it, and I can see this thing breaking in the near future. I don't like that design there, honestly, in my opinion. On the car settings, you have vehicle settings, you have the driver assist, you have AC, and you have the servicing and checking, I guess, you know, in case you need to check and see if you need to get an oil change, tire pressure, oil levels, etc. Now we're gonna go test drive this vehicle and see how it is on a road. Now, when driving this vehicle, it feels nice, you know, you feel like you're up high, you're not low, you see everything. Also, you run over bumps like there's nothing, you don't even feel them, it's really nice. certain quality of this car is really nice. I like how everything is so smooth when you drive. See, when you drive a car, it should make you feel good. It has a characteristics about it. So the 
turning was really nice. Nice and smooth. You know, if anybody is actually looking for this type of vehicle, like you should go get it. Now, starting for this vehicle is about like $40,000. Uh, they have the 2018, which is now improved with the entertainment system, renewed. Everything is refreshed. And um, I think you should just go buy one. I didn't check out the 2018, but I know that inside the tachometer cluster, you can see the GPS and everything in there instead of looking at it on your entertainment screen or whatnot which I think is really cool. You know, also, I like this armrest here. It's really nice, and then plus it's very adjustable, so you can adjust it forward, you can adjust it back, you can lift it up to get more leverage on your arm. It's a cool feature there. Sorry about doing this review at night. The reason being is because I have to return this car back. And I'm in California, daylight savings, yada yada yada. Five o'clock, yes, it gets dark. Now this road right here has a lot of bumps. And I'm not feeling any of the bumps. As it should be. This is why you got the car for. Okay, we're gonna take this car on the highway and see how well it performs. And goodness, is traffic. That's all I need. Living in California, I can tell you one thing you're going to hate the most, and that's definitely the traffic. And I'm from New York, and the traffic in New York is nothing compared to the traffic here. You go on every highway, and you find traffic. No matter what highway it is, you're going to find traffic. stop <sighs> this sucks all right let's see what this baby can do a little bit before I drop this off nice power all right you guys I'm gonna end this video here if you like what you see please subscribe I'll be seeing you later